Really anyone can drag and drop samples into a DAW and create a beat from scratch, but there are a lot of real techniques to make your beats both sound better and be more creative. This video uses examples based in trap and hip hop, and you can grab a download code above to pick up a free sample pack and start putting these tips to use. The first tip, and a really underrated one, has to do with the EQ when you're making your own beats. Every DAW comes stock with a decent EQ plugin that can do pretty much everything you need. Now, if you ever found yourself scrolling endlessly through samples and feeling like nothing quite fits your beat, you might want to start thinking more in terms of how your EQ can help you as a sound design tool, not just something mixing engineers use. One of my favorite tips for music producers is to never assume you just use the kick drum sample you have, or that the sample is the best sonic sound possible just because you pulled it from a sample pack. Here's a simple kick drum sample. Now this is a popular kick drum sound, but if I wanted to tighten up the sound of this kick, I could just adjust those frequencies using some tried and true techniques. So now we go from this to this. Notice the kick is more clear, punchy, and present. So if you want beats to sonically sound better, I would highly recommend opening up the EQ and learning more about it just in general. Another really useful tip is using parallel processing. When you use a plugin parallel to the original track, it allows you to mix in a variety of effects. And again, this is going to give you advantages with your sound design and tons of control of it. Here's an actual beat this time. And here's what we can turn it into. You can hear more dimension, more harmonics, more syncopation. I'm creating all these things going parallel with the plugins. Every DAW has this function. In Ableton, we have the audio effects racks. In FL Studio, you set this up in your mixer window. In Logic, you use bus sends and so on. And the thing that's crazy is the stock plugins in your DAW are extremely usable. You don't need to have the latest and greatest plugin to make your beats sound better and sound fresh. I made a video last year where I created a really cool trap piano sound using FL keys and stock FL Studio plugins. And people have been downloading that one like crazy. It's perfect for trap, hip hop, R&B, pop, all those great genres. You can pick it up for free in the description below. And if you're an FL Studio user, it's generally a good idea to know about saving custom mixer states anyway because it's also a huge time saver when you're making a lot of beats. Plugins give your beats sonic enhancement, but a lot of times we're just trying to find a way to make our beats less boring. We're trying to compose a better idea, not just process it with plugins. So let's take a very typical hi-hat pattern. Notice how this hi-hat pattern is very simple, which sometimes is actually what we need in a song. But let's take it a different direction for this video to something like this. By taking away and adjusting that pattern, I'm playing with this idea of syncopation. What this does to our ear is we're hearing those previously strong, steady beats being displaced or adjusted or moved, and that creates a more interesting rhythmic pattern. Now let's add some more instrumentation to this idea we have. And now let's compare that to where we started. So this is about enhancing syncopation. Think about all the high frequency instruments there are. Hi-hats, open, closed hi-hats, reverb sounds, rim shots, cowbells, shaker, crashes. That's a lot of sonic elements that you might really just be overlooking when it actually comes down to creating the syncopation of your beat. You don't have to use all of these things, but I think only thinking in terms of kick, snare, and closed hi-hat is just something very common I see in my own music production students who start to feel stagnant 
confident and even stuck with making their beats. Once you start to really think more in this direction, you'll notice a lot of compositional ideas. For instance, notice how in this phrase, the last bar features more sounds and variety than the previous three bars. So I'm sort of finishing the pattern with interesting ideas to wrap it up. In music, you'll hear this phrase used a lot, drum fills. And in a genre like trap or hip hop, this is sort of a similar idea. I'm doing something interesting in the last measure to tie together the whole idea before it loops again. Experimentation also really goes a long way with being a better beat maker and music producer. And here's some fun examples. If I add reverses to the front end of snares and then bookend the beginning and end of a pattern, it creates tons of dynamic movement inside the beat. I also could take a beat and mix in big cinematic Tycho hits and impacts, the kind of stuff you hear in movie trailers, and just layer it underneath to create huge, spacious sound design, something you'd hear more in a pop music track for sure. This is what I like to call overdubbing, and it really just refers to the idea that we are mixing underneath the beat more sonic ideas and layers, and this really embellishes the music. And experimentation can go way past how you overdub sounds underneath a beat just by looking at totally different genres of music, styles that you might even profess yourself to hate, you'll learn a lot about how to be a better music producer. I found people get stuck in one genre and this actually prevents them from making better beats. So experimentation can also just refer to being more open to the music around you. Try to think of other genres you're not used to as templates to take ideas from. For instance, drill music has this awesome dotted eighth note rhythm built into the hi-hats. I could take that and add it to a lo-fi R&B style production and hopefully create something kind of interesting. found this video interesting and if you're looking for tons of free resources like royalty free samples and MIDI libraries just check out the link in the description below. If you're new to the channel go check out all the free stuff and hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you all soon. Have fun making music.